So here we are back at the uh, Santa Fe or ATSF freight house. And you'll notice it's really right here along the edge of the uh, table. And uh, this, this was put in after I had started building the layout. And I can put a, put a few trucks here, but there's nothing can go here uh, because I just kind of ran out of room. Now, while I get up on my step, I want to show you. Okay, to come into this, there's a uh, red hand uh, Pico number four which is right here. I found, as digging around, I got a left hand. So if I put the left hand here, I can keep this track, and I'll run another track out here, and then I can move the building this this way some, and I still gotta leave room for, for a small platform that I'll, that I'll add here in the front. And then I got room to add a platform back here with a roof and same thing on this this side. Sorry, I've been working outside. I've still got blood on my fingers. Um, so that way, with some protection along the doors, I'll, I'll put lights on here. Not as many as, as there are doors. I'll put one in between each, each one of these doors. So there's eight, this side eight, so it'd be 16 doors all, to, all together. And I'm debating whether or not I want to keep, this came from, I cut this off a building, I don't know, years ago. I don't know where, where it came from, so we'll just leave it there for now. Um, so that's kind of what I need to do. Uh, I've already designed the platforms. I'll 3D print them, uh, and then that way they'll fit over these, pillars or pilasters, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then uh, th they'll just get glued on there. And then from there, I've got the design already for uh, roof, the roof coverings and the uh, support uh, beams or whatever you want to call them. So, but anyway, that's kind of what I'm going to do next. Um, I may or may not put a big sign on this one because there's a lot of turnouts out here that I need to get at um, by hand. So I use, this is my fabulous one foot step. And um, I use, I have a couple of them that are around the layout. So I need to be able to get my hand over in here without knocking something. And if you remember how high that Union Pacific sign is over there. It, it's not so much of a problem over in that area because a lot of it's controlled with that panel. But uh, this side, I got to really evaluate whether or not uh, I want to want to do one. I haven't bought that sign yet. So, and originally, for example, I was going to put a bridge there because there's supposed to be a bridge in this area in real life. But if I brought the bridge over, I don't care coming over the building, but there's just a lot of turnouts in here that are not going to be controlled other than by hand. I might put some ground throws in there, uh, but uh, uh, that's that's something you got to consider when you do this stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to be working in this area, adjusting this track be on this side adding uh, docks and, and roof lines to this to this building so that it'll, it'll move in a bit so uh, it won't be so close to the edge because I don't want the lights being uh, damaged. They're too expensive to get damaged. So but anyway, that's kind of what the, the next project is for this area. And then after I do the freight house, I'll do the finish the ice house up over in here. And then I'll think about doing whatever I'm going to do with lighting back back in here. Um, due to my lack of mobility because of my back, I have to concentrate on the stuff I can reach now. Um, I have to have help, a la the wife, uh, to get back in there. I, I can't get in underneath the layout and pull myself up in that uh, hatch anymore. So... Uh, it's either that do that once and I'm you know back in the hospital so we don't we don't need to do that but anyway that's kind of where we are now 
and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.